Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Metal and Beer. Today I'm trying an IPA beer that has six different types of hops in it, and this is called the Hopsecutioner IPA. Now I'm also going to highlight a particular album from one of my personal favorite metal bands at the end of the beer tasting, so hang around for that, of course. Alright, so the Hopsecutioner IPA. Now this is from a beer company called Terrapin Beer Company. They're based out of Athens, Georgia. And before I crack this open, I just want to run through the different hops that are on this beer. They're in this beer, rather. So we've got the Simcoe, Amarillo, Cascade, Centennial, Warrior, and Chinook. So just to quickly go through the different hops and types of flavors, like how all these are combined. So we've got the Simcoe and the Chinook. So both of those kind of have that piney undertone to them. You know, the Simcoe, you've got a little bit more bitterness and the Chinook gives you a little bit more spice, but they both have that pininess to them. Now let's move on to two more hops. And if you notice, I'm kind of pairing these up for a reason because, you know, each of the two I'm pairing together here kind of have similarities. So now we move on to the Amarillo and the Warrior hops. Now these have both prominent citrus flavors, okay? But the Warrior has more of a spice to it, whereas your Amarillo, as you know, has more of that orange citrus flavor to it. Lastly, we've got the Cascade and the Centennial hops. Now, the Centennial, as you may know, is kind of like a super cascade, if you will. Uh, they both give that floral aroma, and they both have that citrus flavor to them. Uh, however, the Centennial has a little bit more of an earthy undertone. So let's give this a try. Now, to be transparent, I have had this beer already. And it's a pretty good beer, I must say. Every now and then, I'll try something for the first time, you know, on camera here in front of you guys and taste it with you. But... A lot of the beers that you'll, you know, that I talk about here are beers that I've had before, and they're beers that I really enjoy and just want to come on and share them with you. So, cheers. Let's give this a try. Now, I will say that floral aroma is is quite prominent here. The grapefruit as well, because you've got two types of hops in here that are known for the grapefruit. Okay, the Simcoe kind of has that grapefruit flavor, and then the Cascade hops, you know, has that as well. The floral and the grapefruit is, you know, pretty strong. Mm. And now the more I breathe it in, I'm, I'm starting to breathe in that citrus aroma as well. All right, let's taste it. So that is, it's a good beer. That's an interesting flavor though. Like you really have to kind of just take it in slowly because you want to experience all those flavors coming in. It's a very interesting beer. Yeah, that's a, that's a really nice blend. You know, one thing I would like to know about this, and again, this is the Hopsecutioner. I'd like to know at what point of the brewing process that they, they place the different types of hops in. So that would be interesting to know. I'll have to look that up later. So let's take a look at this artwork, guys, because this is pretty cool. I mean, the beer is great. There's a turtle on here, which is cool. Kind of looks like a ninja turtle almost. <laughs> and he's just in this hop land over here. Oh, we've got a guillotine, man. Wow. Now that's pretty metal. <laughs> the Hopsecutioner IPA. That is a cool name and that's some really cool artwork. And on the back of the can here, you can see it says Killer IPA. So yeah, I mean, you're definitely in like Hopland with this beer. Now the alcohol content, this is 7.3%. So it's not like overly strong. It's not like overloaded there. And for me personally, I kind of like that, you know, between anywhere between like 6.2 and about 7.5, anywhere in that range, I kind of like for my IPAs to be there because in that way, the alcohol is not overpowering the flavor because sometimes that can happen in your stronger IPAs and it becomes more of a challenge to, to really get those flavors in there. But 7.2, you know, in my opinion, that's kind of like a really, 
a really good alcohol content to still be able to really take in and, and savor those flavors and, and aromas and all. So this is good stuff. So now let's get to the metal music part of this video. I want to share a particular album with you guys. It's actually a compilation album by Nightwish and this is called Decades. And this is actually their their first two decades. It's cool because it goes back through the history of Nightwish when they first started. And the band has evolved so much throughout these two decades here. You know, from 1996, that's when they were formed. And um, this goes from 1996 to 2015. You know, the band evolved and morphed so much, you know, with different singers and almost different styles of music as well. And I don't want to say they became more refined. That wouldn't be accurate because they're, they've always been a very well orchestrated and refined band. But it's almost like the music became bigger as they grew, if that makes sense. And some of that could be the, you know, the production and all, and that's fine. But anyway, I want to point out a couple of songs on here. And I actually bought the CD at a Nightwish concert that I went to uh, a couple years ago. They start out with The Greatest Show on Earth, which is one of their super long songs. And it's just a very awesome song. They've got Story Time, which I love. They've got I Want My Tears Back, which is a really awesome song. Because Marco, their bass player, sings uh, some prominent parts on that song. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. The same story with Wish I Had an Angel. That's on here as well. That's on disc one. There's two discs. Now, disc two starts right out of the gate with one of their just, I don't know, most awesome songs. Probably one of the most awesome songs in the world. And that's Ghost Love Score. So... That's just a, I love that song. And then uh, they've got several others on here as well. I don't want to go through the entire CD, but yeah. I just wanted to highlight this album, Nightwish Decades. It's a really cool album. And the cool thing is when I went to this particular concert, uh, they actually had Floor Jansen with them. She was, you know, she had just joined the band, I think, a year prior. I'm trying to remember when I went to this show. I think it was probably back in... 2017 maybe 18 something like that and I got to see Flora Jansen uh, you know singing with them live and she's just phenomenal and I'm not going to get in you Nightwish uh, fans I'm not going to get into who the best singer was because Tarja was was obviously just which still is an amazing vocalist and they've had other vocalists so, I mean they're all great in their own right so I mean I don't really like to compare singers like that especially with this band because they're just such an epic band but yeah Nightwish Decades and again, guys, we are drinking the Hopsecutioner IPA from Terrapin Brewing Company. So that is cool. I will leave links to both the beer company here and, of course, Nightwish. I'll uh, either have a link to their website and or their YouTube channel so you guys can check them out. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and ding the bell and all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next Metal and Beer.